eighty thousand cases in the U.S. Eighty five thousand cases. Yeah. What does New York have right now? New York leading the pack. N Y C. Thirty seven thousand cases, three hundred eighty seven deaths in the state of New York. Wow. Ah. You know, it's interesting, man. It's a real reset for anybody who's young. If you're under 25, it's time to move back home if you can. Move back home. Listen, don't, don't be upset. Don't think it's a failure. But if, you, if it's at all possible for you to go back home for 12 to 24 months and save fucking money, there's no shame in it. This is a reset. I can't go home. My mother's in a mental institution. And my father and his wife live together. I can't. There is no home for me to go. I, and I'm 35. That's also, you can't go home when you're 35. That's it. You're in your mid-30s. You, the home you go when you're 35 is your death, eventually. <laughs> you're closer to that than the age when you can just walk, you know, go home. Which is why, in retrospect, what a great time 9-11 was. It was just such a fun fucking time. 9-11. Wow. Just growing up, being young, you know? Is it going to be anthrax? Is it going to be smallpox? What's going to get us? Bioterror? Nothing happened. There were no additional attacks, you know? You know what's great about 9-11? Everything made you a hero. Going out and getting drunk made you a hero because if you didn't go out and get drunk, the terrorists won. Right. <sighs> so good if you didn't go out and get drunk and eat a sandwich at 2 a.m the terrorists won do you want the terrorists to win no so you go live your life remember president bush he's like what can americans do he said go shopping go <laughs> shopping because that's what we are we got to lean in a little bit to that we are demons from hell that's really what we are we're not a good country of good people. That idea has to be smashed. Let's lean in. It's, I get it. When Bush is like, go shopping, he's not wrong. He's like, what are you guys going to do anyway? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do grief counseling? Shut the fuck. What are you going to, what are you going to volunteer your time to, to talk to people? Do grief counseling? No. Go and buy a dress. Go get a car and drive it real fast. Fatty, go get a panini press. Go get a waffle iron. I mean, that's what we do. Yeah. We shop or the terrorists win. We get drunk or the terrorists win. Mm -hmm. That was a great thing about 9-11. You were, <laughs> it was your patriotic duty to consume. Mm -hmm. To consume, to go out and gorge yourself with food and wine and booze. Do shots with your friends and get fucked up on the weekends because this is America and that's how we roll. And Osama bin Laden will never take that away from us. He'll never take away our ability to go out to bars and get fucked up with money that we stole from our parents. One way or the other. Sometimes it was hard stealing. There's a little money on a mantle. It's mine. Sometimes you go right into the pocketbook, right into the purse. Take a little bit off the top. Go right in there and grab a couple of 20s, 50. Ooh, you got 100. Got to be a good night. Got to be a good night. Hope she doesn't notice. She's had a few. A lot of people in Long Island stole. Kleptomaniacs. They steal money. They love it. I would take money every now and then. I was a junk box, druggy. Some people did it sober. That's funny to me. Hilarious. I mean, I know people who are stone cold sober, stealing from their families. Great. No excuse. Stealing, stealing clothes, you know? There's something very deeply wrong with the area that I come from. It's a sickness. It's worse than Corona. It's worse than COVID. It's a 100% rate of being a piece of shit. <laughs> That's the statistic. You grow up in Long Island, yeah. full of malls. Mm -hmm. You get a job because your mother's friend, Deb, knows someone at the rec center. You just sit there in a chair and watch people almost drown in the pool. Life is a meaningless waste of time. Don't kid yourself.
And don't kid yourself. I don't think much will change in this country after this pandemic. You know, I thought that it would. I'm like, people are going to start getting serious. They'll move out to the suburbs. They're going to want kids. They're going to want to, they're going to want, you know, they want real sh- I don't know. I don't know. It would be great if that shit ends, if your fucking one-man show is over, if you realize that you want to get, you know, something real in your life, tangible, property, family. You're not just going to waltz around being a dilettante, pretending to be an artist, wasting your own time and everybody else's. You know, New York could get dangerous again. The economy could get bad. Moving to a city like that could be a real risk. The fun might be over. You better really fucking want it. You better really want it. If you get, if you could get a knife to your throat on the A train, you better really want to be fucking funny and interesting. You better really want. Otherwise, the pull of the traditional life, the life that many of you should be living, the traditional life, that it's going to be a, it's going to be very strong. After this pandemic, my prediction could be wrong is that the pull of that tradition is going to come back. Suburbs, back. I want space. I want property. I want a house. How many people are quarantining in a box right now going, no more? I want out. I I want something real. I want to love someone. I want them to love me. I want real responsibilities. I don't want to host a fair weather friends and people trying to step on my neck to get ahead. I want to get the fuck out of these cities like New York and L.A. and go. People like me are going to stay, but we should stay because we're, we're good at what we do. You ain't, and you know who I'm talking to. If you're sitting out there and you're listening to this and you're like, hey, man, is he talking to me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you even think like that, I'm talking to you. You should be sitting there going, fuck this fat fuck. I'd do it better than him. And then you got a shot. If you're sitting there going, fuck this guy, I could do that show better. Is what is Netflix is whatever. Everybody sweats this guy, but fuck him. Who cares? I would do it better. Oh, I'm Megan McCann. Good. That now I respect you, you little demon. (laughs) But you'll still fail. Because life's a bitch. So don't get too high on your high horse. Okay?